What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today let's talk about some fast topic here. Summer Olympics Tokyo 2020. The games will begin on July 23, 2021 after it was postponed uh, for one year due to the pandemic, because originally it's supposed to begin on July 24. And yeah, speaking of which, the qualification window has officially finished and those athletes who already qualified are making their final preparation and the send off parties with their families and their friends before they departing to Tokyo in the next few days from now. And Indonesia will compete for 16th edition of the Olympics and currently I believe it's 28 athletes that will be compete. So today I'm gonna talk about the Indonesian athletes that will be compete at the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics. But before we start this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Alright, all right, without further ado, let's start this video. Let's start off with the archery. There will be two returning Olympians from Rio 2016, Edgar Rio Agata Salsabila and Diananda Choronisa. Both of these archers are the first athletes to qualify for Tokyo 2020 via the results from the Asian Games 2018. Thanks for the South Korea who already have a slot, I guess. And Edgar won bronze medal while Diananda clean silver. But originally, those slots are considered as by number, not by name. The reason is because um, last year, Edgar and Dian were dropped by the Indonesia Archery Federation due to the fact both of these athletes actually refused the um, request by the Indonesia Archery Federation. The reason is because they want the same thoughts, but they at um, the Indonesia Archery Federation actually rejected. So that's why uh, um, the Indonesia Archery Federation can uh, can choose an, another athlete to replace this dual aces. But after a discussion with the ministry, if I um, can to remember, Edra and Dia will return to the training camp and reclaim their slot during a national selection. On June 2021, Indonesia Archery team went off to Paris for the final Olympic qualifier. Fire. Edra teamed up with Arif Pangesto and Alfianto Badras for Man of team and Dian with Tete Kusuma and Reza Otafia. Both are competing for the final slot for Tokyo 2020. The result, Man of team advanced to Tokyo 2020. During qualification, they managed to go to round 2 because they finished in top 8 in qualification. In the main tournament, they beat Bangladesh, Italy and Ukraine in semi-final. No. Which result they automatically qualify to Tokyo 2020. They face off against the United States Archery team in the final but lost 3 5. Despite the result, Arif and Alfianto are joined to Summer Olympic with Edgar Rio, Adrata Salsabia, while our women's team unfortunately didn't make it. I'm gonna explain this in the next episode. Next up, we have the main tour spots for the olympics athletics this was the first sport who qualified via direct event outside of continental event lalu muhammad zohri went viral in 2018 when he won gold medal at 100 meter at iaf world under 20 championship his great journey continues when he won silver medal i believe via relay at the asian games 2018 he also competed at the Asian Championship 2019 at Doha, where he also won at si also won the silver medal. The climax at the Seiko Osaka Grand Prix, Lalu Muhammad Zohri qualified after finished third place. He is now known as the fastest man in Southeast Asia. But because of the pandemic, Lalu Muhammad Zohri did not actually have on some tryout events. And he was trumpet, and he was trumpet later, you no, know, at the trial. Um, um, I believe it is the trial event, fan for the Tokyo 2020. He trumpets again, but he only finished seventh place. Makes sense because he wasn't trumpeting again for a whole year 
due to the pandemic. But unfortunately, this achievement was not followed by the others. As many tournaments were cancelled due to the pandemic, they were strictly hard to qualify the others. In the end, as there was no woman who qualified, the IAAF sent a university slot and later given to the marathon sprinter Alfin Tepu Hiori. This one will be a little bit longer because this was the main strength for Team Indonesia. Badminton was basically a gold mine for Indonesia and Olympics because every year since 1992, with exception of London 2012, at least one gold medal won by badminton from the golden pair of Indonesia, which is Alan Budi Kusuma and Susi Susanti, to the famous Owi Butet, which unfortunately were already retired two years ago. <coughs> This year, they will be trying to win more than one gold medals at the Tokyo 2020, just what they did 29 years ago. There will be 11 players, 8 of them are debutants, while the other 3 will be the returning Olympian, with, with 2 of them who will be competing for the 3rd to 4th Olympics in their career. Let's start off with the men's single. Jonathan Christie, also known as Jojo, went on the rise when he won gold medal at Asian Youth 2018. At the time, he later been endorsed by men, so many products, and later he went famous. Despite, unfortunately, his performance went down after getting a star syndrome. While Anthony Sinisutra Ginting, despite not so, uh, not too popular as Jojo, has better performance and titles. Most notable was Fatal China Open and Daihatsu Indonesia Master. In, in the race to Tokyo ranking, Jojo ended on 7th place while Ginty on 5th place. They'll be facing some of the giants like the main host Kento Momota, followed by the European greats like um, Anders Antonsen and Victor Axelsen, and some of the Chinese greats like Chou Tianchen, Ng Ka Long Angus, Si Yuki, and Li Sijia as the continental rival. Next up is men's double. It's by far the strongest sector for the Indonesia badminton team. Two pairs who will compete were only in number one and two in the world, with Minions, is which is Kevin Sanjaya and Marcus Gideon, is only the number one for the longest period, which is why they were the, the most favorite who will won gold medal at Tokyo 2020 later on. While the other two, that is, is also very strong, especially Hendra Setiawan, which already won gold medal with late Marquis Kido at Beijing 2008. If he won, this will be set a new record. Some of the bigger rivals they, will, they have to face it, including the Li Jun Hui and Liu Yu Chen, and don't forget, and their biggest nightmare, Yuta Watanabe and Hiroyuki Endo. Notable names include, include Takeshi Kimura, Tamura, Keido Sonoda, and um, the continental or Southeast Asia rifle, Aaron Chia and So Wu Yui. Woman Sindro by far is one of the weakest sectors in the team. I mean look, 20, 29 years ago, Susi Susanti won gold medal for the first time for Indonesia. But after her, there were no players get her status as the next Susi Susanti. With the, with the exception of Maria Christine, who once bronze and of course um, stop the woman sing, uh, Chinese woman single domination at Beijing 2008, and infamous Mia Audina, who won silver with Netherlands, not with the Indonesia. Gregor Yamashita will be the next player who will try to end a miserable strand of woman performance sector. She was popular when she won gold at BWF World Junior Championship 2017. A year later, she promoted to senior level and reached top 15 do during her debut. She even beat Atane Yamaguchi at 2018 Asian Games, but after that, her performance went down and she's out of top 15 and 20. At Tokyo 2020, she finished, uh, um, she finished 14th place in the race to Tokyo, and she was part of the 16 top seed that, that and in the group stage, at least she got advantage because she will face some easy opponent while the biggest challenge will be round of 16. If she didn't make it, oh boy, that was a big mistake. 
Um, some of the biggest names that the Dragon Maestro will face if she reaches round of 16, including the horse Nozomi Otohara and Atane Yamaguchi, run China in tandem with the Continental or Southeast Asia rifles, despite Right. If you uh, take a look, Intanon is now world level, not continental anymore. Tai Suying, Pusa Sindu, and An Seiyong, with Taurina Ta- Marin, also supposed to be one of them, but she was withdrawn due to the injury. Unlike the three previous sectors, Woman's Double hasn't won any medals since the introduction. Gracia will compete in, will compete in Olympic for the fourth time and probably last time for June. She's already married and turned 34 la- years old last year. Let's hope she won John Medal for a warmest de- double for first time and last time with her debutant, Apriya Nirahayu. They finish on 7th place and their biggest rivals will be Mayu Matsutom, Matsumoto and Watana Nadahara, Hirota, Fu- uh, um, Hirota and Fotoshima, and fo- don't forget some of the Toreans. As Lee So Hee and Se- Sin Seung Chan and Kim So Young and Chong Hing Young. Brafen will try to defend the draw after Owe and Bhutan retirement. And alongside a debutant Malati Daifa, because her, uh, his previous partner, Debbie Susanto, was unfortunately already retired in 2019. <coughs> Their task probably will be very hard as they will have to compete the duo Chinese. With this, Zeng, uh, Zeng Siwei and Huang Yang Kiong and Wang Yi Liu and Huang Dongping. And don't forget at the Continental Rivals, the Tapo and Sub Siri, and of course the Hulse, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Hidrasino. They will be the only pair of mixed number of Indonesia and Tokyo 2020. So let's hope there will be one. Um, two drone medals at Tokyo 2020 because this was the Indonesia's most favorite sport, right? After our 12 years return in 2016, Rowing will return once again at Tokyo 2020. Last edition, they sent one of it for men and women. This time, they will send a pair of women's rower, Malani Putri and Mutiara Grama Putri for lightweight double stars. Originally finished fourth place, but because of the country already qualified, the slot was later reallocated to Indonesia. Next up, we have the female shooter named Fidia Rafita Toiba. For the first time since 2012, Indonesia entered, f- entered one shooter after a shift toward a place from uh, following the 2018 ISSF. World Cup, the 2019 World Championship, and Asian Championship, as long as she obtained a minimum qualified star. I believe she was um, she was born from year 2000 or 2001, which is why she was probably a main prospect for the Indonesia in the next few years from now. Let's stop after the Tokyo 2020, she will become one of the elite shooter in Asia not only in Southeast Asia, okay? As a debut sport for Tokyo 2020, Indonesia were very lucky as they were the first Asia country that would be trumpet beside Japan. One who was lucky was 21 years old Rio Wider. Originally did not perform well at Rio at the 2021 ISA Olympic qualifier, but as soon Murakami actually must trumpet again for the final spot, his slot was later reallocated for Rio, as he, as he finished as a runner-up uh, in the, from the Asian zone. There was actually one sort of uh, almost grab um, a ticket to Tokyo 2020, but recently, Jody Smith, the South Africa surfer and the potential draw medalist for uh, South Africa, announced, announced his withdrawal from Olympic Games due to the knee injuries. His slot is now given to the next best finish. One of the names that has been named as alternate was E. Tertut Badrus, which in semi-final, originally, he was almost made it to the Tokyo 2020, but failed to qualify after he finished a little bit second from um, other software who qualified. But this was not confirmed, so we have to wait on the updates for the confirmation for Tertut Badrus to qualify.
This one was very sad. As a main tourist spot of the Olympic Games, Indonesia didn't qualify any swim off for this year's Olympics. It's a sort of sense because some tournaments were cancelled or closed only for one country. I oh no 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 actually Indonesia um has a one Olympic qualification which I believe it is the um Jakarta Aquatic Festival where they it was actually approved by FINA as the Olympic Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 qualifications. The reason none of them were actually reached the Olympic qualifier ta- uh, qualification time. As a result, FINA gave a two university quota for Indonesia. The final selection was happened on June, and Fadlan Prawira and Asara Pomatani were, were chosen as a final name for Team Indonesia. Man, I actually did not know about these two names, but well, in my prediction, they may not actually perform well. This is basically just to uh, make a crowd for Team Indonesia. Last one, we have another strength for Team Indonesia. Weightlifting. Three-time Olympians and medalists, Edward Yuli Irawan, will return for the fourth and probably the last chance to get the gold medal. Also including was the two-time Olympian and SEA Games champion, Danny, the 2020 World Junior Champion, Windy Chantita Aisha, and Nuro Akmal. These four athletes secured one of the top eight slots eights in their division in the IWF Absolute World Rangers, and also uh, the uh, the possible next Andrew Yuli Rawan, Rahman Erwin Abdullah. He topped, in, he topped the field of the weightlifting from the Asian Zone in Man 73 kilogram category based on the IWF Absolute Continental Rankings. If so, seeing the uh, map of the competition, Thailand one was actually not originally supposed to be the main rifle, but I believe um, Thailand was barred from the Olympic Games due to the, some violations. So yeah. Their only main opponents will be China and Kazakhstan, I think. Yeah, let's hope Andrew Yuli Rawan want to end, end, um, end his career uh, by winning a gold medal after winning a silver and bronze medal. For the conclusion, Indonesia will send 28 different athletes in 8 different sports. Unfortunately, it is the same number as Rio 2016, but with one difference. Indonesia uh, um, for the number of the sports variety increased by 1. Rio 2016 is just 7. This year, the Tokyo 2020, it's now 8. For the gold medal opportunities, the first one most likely will be from badminton, especially men's double of either minions or daddies. And the second one, hopefully, is another badminton or maybe, um, I hope this year will be the first gold medal outside of the badminton, which is from weightlifting via Andrew Yuli Irawan. Let's hope he, he will win a gold medal uh, for the first time and last time um, as a athlete to end his career. So, good luck team Indonesia. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!